Hi there, welcome to our workshop here at Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard and we're going to be continuing our um, study here about uh, rebuilding or re um, reconditioning piano hammer butts. Uh, these are of course uh, vertical or upright hammer butts that we're going to be working with today. And um, uh, we had in a previous video where we talked about replacing the, the hammer butt leather and uh, the jack rest felt, which is here. We've got the, um, the hammer butt leather and jack rest felt. So we've got another video that shows that. Uh, but today we're going to be um, showing you and talking about the, um, the catcher leather. Okay, this is what the back check uh, catch is on. Okay, so that's the catcher leather. There's a, there's a piece of leather there, and that gets worn as uh, the as the piano gets played, as well as the um, the spring felt. Okay, and that's the, the the slot here for the hammer butt spring. And not all not all pianos have felt in this slot for the hammer butt spring, but many do, and uh, so it's good to um, to replace that as it gets dirty and, and hard and so forth, and needs replaced from time to time. This is a fairly simple process. Um, you know, we you, you want to buy a, a roll of um, piano catcher leather. Uh, we've got that available in our store. And then what you, basically what you do is um, here I've taken an, uh, one and I've removed the leather so you can see um, as well as the, the the felt for the spring uh, the spring punching there um, and uh, so basically what you're going to do is um, the punchings are, are real really fairly simple they're they're round so they fit in that slot and so what you do is push it in there and, and uh, kind of hold and uh, what you're going to use is PVC e glue when you go to replace that um, and glue that felt in as well as using PVC e glue for the for the catcher leather also that's the best uh, glue for that but uh, basically for the spring felt punching you're gonna uh, put uh, put a little bit of glue in there just push it in hold it in place with a real thin screwdriver or a hammer shank or something like that and, and um, hold it there for a few seconds. You can, um, I've seen where you can put a hammer shank in there to hold it in there and then put a rubber band around it. That works too, um, but uh, PVC glue sets fairly quickly so um, you just you can decide what what you think is best. So that's for the spring rail felt, but here um, you're gonna, uh, the spring rail felt, or spring not the spring rail felt, but I bet the spring butt punch, butt spring punchings. Um, but uh, the leather for the catcher, uh, the back check catcher, is going to have to be cut. Okay, comes in a, a roll like this, like I showed you. Um, and you can either cut it uh, here. We've got a, a mat and a rotary, uh, rotary cutter, which uh, works. Um, but uh, the best tool to use is this. Um, um, felt cutter okay and it also works real well for leather and so you set your your stop block here to uh, to know the dention and what I do is I just take my stainless steel rule and I check to see you know I checked first to see what um, dimension I needed to have for the how wide it needed to be um, and what I did is I just measured the width of the of the block that it's going to go into the catcher block and then I uh, set this um, by taking my stainless steel rule. I measured for my stop block, and I kind of measure both sides to make sure that it's even. And once I've got it set, then I'll put my catcher leather in there. I'll turn that so you can see that. Put my catcher leather in there. Make sure you don't keep your fingers far enough away from the from the blade. And then it'll cut it. it. It doesn't cut always cut completely through. It scores it pretty good though, so that uh, you can just snip it then with scissors, and that gives you a nice, nice, um, nice new piece to fit on there. So then what you're going to do is just put a little dab of glue. You can use PVC glue. You can use hot hide glue. That sets even faster than PVC glue. Um, so if you've got that um, already going and you're in the shop, then uh, you can use hot hide glue. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put a little, little bit of glue on on the on the one end, stick it in there, and do do the one end first. Um, this one's got a slot. Not all of them do. Here I've got a a new hammer butt, um, and you can see the catcher. It doesn't have that slot. It just kind of 
um, kind of goes and lays across the, the curve there. So, um, but if it does have a slot like this one, uh, we can show you a close up of that. There's a slot there for that to fall into, just like there was for the hammer butt uh, leather. But you're going to glue that in there, uh, that that first end in there. Let that dry, and then you're going to you then then you can put some glue on the rest of it. Glue that and uh, push it down to clamp it. And um, there you've got a new catcher leather. Okay, and again you like just like the hammer butt leather that we talked about. You want to you want to make sure that the nap is going in the right direction. Okay, now this one um, you want the nap to go so that um, the smooth part is going going down. Okay, so uh, make sure you double check that nap on that. So, but th those that those are fairly um, simple process to do is replacing the catcher leather and again the butt spring punchings. And um, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to visit our website. It's howardpianoindustries.com.